I fuck with Shawty cause she bought her business, ayy. She independent and she on a mission, ayy. Been through some shit, but now it's better living. What's up, Flavor Squad? It's your girl, Fashionisha, here to give you all the flavor. If you are new here, make sure you hit that like button, make sure you subscribe, and make sure you comment down below, hashtag Flavor Squad. If you are not new here, I thank you so much for coming back to my channel. So today, guys, I am silk pressing my hair, and I'm just giving you guys the process I go through to achieve this silk press. And I first start off by washing my hair really good with shampoo. So let's get right into it. Okay y'all, so I am an advocate for Ozzy Moist. Just for me, it works. So I'm gonna be using the Miracle Moist shampoo today on my hair. I don't really have a big preference on the shampoo I use. Like if I didn't have this, I would just use anything. So next I'm going to get into the actual products that help me with this silk pressing process and I'm going to be using my Chi Infra shampoo and I just like to use all of the same branded products when it comes to my silk press. So because I use the Chi Silk Infusion I wanted to use the shampoo and conditioner as well. It's important to ensure that your hair is really clean because you don't want to have any oils or build up weighing your hair down when you're silk pressing. Next, I'm going to go in with my Miracle Moist Conditioner, and yes, I use a lot of this. <laughs> so while I have the conditioner in my hair, I'm also going to go through and detangle my hair with the comb. This is going to be a quick detangle. I'm not going to get very thorough, but I'm going to get the job done nonetheless. And I'm also going to sit under the dryer for about 30 to 45 minutes. This is all depending on your preference. But I'm just letting you guys know that's how long I sit under the dryer. Probably about 45, honestly. I highly recommend deep conditioning your hair before silk pressing because you just want to get your hair as moisturized as possible. Lock in all that moisture. And for me, I have low porosity hair, so my hair just doesn't retain anything it's stressful so I just like to deep condition my hair so that I can get as much moisture as possible So now that I'm done deep conditioning, I'm going to go ahead and rinse out that conditioner. And it's really important to make sure you get all of this conditioner out as well because you don't want any buildup like I said before. And after that, I'm going to go in with the Chi Infra Treatment. And it's basically a Chi conditioner. Okay, after I do the last bit of detangling and I rinse out the Chi conditioner, basically, I go in with the Chi Silk Infusion right before I blow dry. If you claim you want me, it ain't no thing, and you acting kind of shady. You ain't been calling me baby, oh. Boy, you can go stop playing games, playing games. I know you see it in my line, I'm on your line. After that, I like to go in with some heat protectant before I blow dry. 
because that's the most important part. You want to protect your strands. You want to revert back when it's time. So I go ahead and split my hair into four sections before we start blow drying. And I'm going to show you guys the blow dryer I use. And I just got my blow dryer from a local beauty supply store. So I don't know if you can grab this online or something. But it's a really nice blow dryer. The nicest blow dryer I've ever had. It gets the job done. I love the comb attachment. Get you a comb attachment, okay? If you're doing a silk press, you got to have the comb attachment. I think one of the major keys when doing a silk press is at home is getting your hair as straight as possible with the blow dryer. Therefore, you won't have to use too much heat with the flat iron. So that's what you see me doing here. And I like to go root to tip. And you really want to get those ends as straight as possible. For me, my ends were the hardest part, mostly because they needed to be clipped. And as you can see here, this is how I go about clipping my ends. I just blow dry and then I kind of clip what looks bad to me. This is my method. You don't have to go with this method. I know it can be a little scary, but girl, it be looking bad. So I just decided to cut it off. I don't cut that much, about a half an inch. Okay, so here's another clip of me trimming my hair at the front. And I don't know if you guys can tell, but the bottom is just kind of knotted. It was hard to really um, blow dry through and comb through. So that's how I know my ends need to be clipped. If I'm getting knots, if they're not curling when it's wet, or if they're not getting straight when I blow dry, I know that they need to go. So they had to go, and I clipped them. And this is what my hair looks like after I blow dried and clipped my ends to the best of my ability. I ain't gonna lie y'all, I was contemplating my whole decision to silk press my hair once I saw all of this hair. I was just like, do I really want to do this? Clearly I did it though. <laughs> so I tried to use the chasing method from, for some parts of my hair. And for some parts I was just like, okay, I can't hold the comb and the flat iron, so I didn't. But I like to get a few passes on my roots and go down really slow all the way to my ends. I think one good tip is going slow. Don't move too fast because if you move too fast, you just don't give the flat iron time to actually flatten your hair. So take your time. You're not burning your hair. It's okay. I mean, you are, but you know what I'm saying. You're not just frying it. Go slowly. Give the flat iron time to actually flatten your hair. So I know y'all probably like, why is she bumping the ends? But listen, hear me out. So the ends of my hair, they just weren't getting as straight as the rest of my hair for some reason. Like, they weren't. So it just being bone straight just wasn't working out for me, and I did not like it. So I just decided to curl the ends a little bit. It didn't look bad. It was actually cute once I finished. And I don't know, what's wrong with my ends? They just, the flat iron was not doing it for them. So it's what I did. 
dark skin, light skin, medium tones. Pumped in grey, got mini afros. Thick lips, got hips, some of us don't. Big nose contours, some of us won't. Never wanna put us in the media, bro. Wanna fat booty like Kardashians. Wanna fat booty like my heart ain't got a yo. We love the block like Della, reload it. I've got the camera, my girls are posing. I need some backup, then my ones are rolling. Grown well, women things, I'm never at risk. Mind my own business, I'm never in mess. Who am I? I ain't baby, get a size of the cake. Want a house with a view, when a new pair of shoes. Keep it real from the jungle, she get a little pump, little vibe, little bass, little kick, little snare, little lies, big truths. Do you, they don't care. Do you, they don't care. Get your ass out of the box and build them from there. I don't have a gang with me, but I still walk with a gangster lean. I rock Nikes cause we think they're clean. MJ, love a jacket, be it Billy Jean. MJ, love a jacket cause I think I'm bad. I like it. The growth, the life, the pain, the fight. We laugh, we fight, we hurt, we cry. All right, so this is our last piece and I'm all done. Now I'm just gonna comb it out so it can actually look like something, not some bump curls everywhere. So once I finish combing it out, this is what it looked like, not bad at all. I don't think I was feeling the middle part, so you're gonna see the next clip where I ended up rolling my hair at the ends with, um, what are those rollers called? Perm rods. So I ended up putting perm rods in my hair and doing a side part, and this is how it looks. I really, really love it. I think it looks mature. It looks good on me. Like I don't look 12, like I usually do. So yeah, I love it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Let me know if you have any questions about what I did. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you subscribe. But that's all I have for you. So may your curls pop and your grind never stop, Flavor Squad. I'm out of here. But you love check my flaws and all my time. I was like back when it wasn't even in style. That's cool. I like it. The growth.